Dimas, can you hear my voice? Oh yeah, it's the host now. You may start, Dimas. Dimas, are you there? Well, Dimas probably is facing trouble with the connection. Uh, then the first turn will be given to Agus Eddy. Agus Eddy, are you there? Yes, miss. Mm. Please start the uh, simulation. All right. Uh, good afternoon, Jen. Good afternoon, sir. How are you today? I'm great. How about you? All right. I'm doing uh, good. Uh, thank you for asking. All right. Uh, welcome to our uh, class again. Uh, today, uh, before we start the class, I would like to check your attendance and also lead your prayer. Okay, who is absent today? No one, no one sir. No one? Okay, thank you for information. Okay, I will let you start. Uh, <coughs> I will let you pray. Pray start. Pray end. Okay, uh, let me share screen first. I'm sorry, Miss. Uh, I cannot share screen because I'm not the host. Dimas, can you help us to make August ID as a host? Uh, yes, yes. Sorry. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Okay, can you see my uh, PowerPoint? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, before uh, we jump to the material, I would like to uh, ask one of you to read the, <clears throat> the paragraph here. Who wants to read this? Can I, sir? Can I try Anybody want? To read it? Who is that? Who is the first? Nita or do we? Oh, yeah. Yes, Nita. Nita, please. I saved my money and spent two months traveling around the world. I wrote my journey in my diary. I spent a week in New York and then flew to London and enjoyed several weeks in Europe. After spent several weeks in Europe, I went to Japan and finally back home to Indonesia. I felt tired, but I was very excited and wanted to travel again. Okay, thank you so much for Anita. Uh, you read the paragraph clearly. Okay, uh, from the paragraph that has uh, been read by Anita, anyone can guess what we are going to learn today? Can you guess what our material for today from the paragraph? Free context, sir. Uh, context, yes, sir. that's right. They were. Uh, that's right. Uh, we are going to uh, learn about free context. Okay. Uh, how did you know we are going to the free context? They were. 
Because oh, the word tense. in the form of uh, past tense. Yes, that's right. Give plus the verb. Okay, <clears throat> that's right. Because uh, the use of tense, tense is okay. The context. We are going to learn about the context for uh, today's lesson. Okay, here is the definitions of the context. As you can see, the context is text is a uh, telling the reader about one story action or activity and uh, as we uh, know the previous paragraph is all about the story of someone who has traveled around the world right <clears throat> as they was said uh, previously uh, how uh, he he could uh, guess uh, what we are going to learn today the tenses that used in the recontext is simple past tense as you can see in the in the PowerPoint, there are two examples of a recontext. There, the first one is I went to show by train two weeks ago, and the second one it was amazing day. As you can see, the verb that used in the first sentence is verb two. Next, conjunction in the recontext. Uh, we usually use the conjunctions, for example, like then, before, and after. For example, the first <coughs> is after. Here, there are examples of a sentence that use after. After we arrive in Java, that's an example. And then the second one, use then. Then we got lunch at a traditional restaurant. The third one is before, that uh, in the sentence of before we back home. My grandmother gave me an old bag. All right. Okay, after I give you <clears throat> the definitions and also the characteristic of uh, recontext, uh, I want to you make a recontext, I mean like a sentence to complete this. Here is, uh, <clears throat> what is that? Uh, Uncomplete recontext that I have uh, made. So I want to ask you to complete this with the sentence uh, from yourself. And also, the theme of the uh, recontext in this example is about uh, visiting grandmother or visited grandmother. Okay, anyone want to try make a sentence to complete this, please? Can I try it, sir? Yes, please, is that? Yes, with Chandra? Um, yesterday, I visited my mother. I went there with my family. Yes, that's right. Good job, with Chandra. I went there with my family. Okay, thank you, with Chandra. And next, please, anyone want to try? Me? Is that Nita? Uh, yes, please. Uh, we saw beautiful view uh, during the way. We saw beautiful view yeah. during, during the, way. the way. Yep. Good job, Nita. That's a <coughs> right uh, sentence. Next, anyone want to add more? Can I, sir? Yes, please. Is that with you? Yes, please. Yes. Okay. In my grandmother's house. In my grandmother's mother's house, house. We eat a lot of food. We eat a lot of food. Of food. Yes. Thank you, Vidya. That's uh. <clears throat> A good uh, sentence to complete the recontext here. Okay, for the students, I think that's enough uh, for the example of sentence to complete this recontext. I hope you uh, understand and I hope you enjoy our class today. Okay, uh, before we end the class, Anyone want to 
conclude what we are uh, what we have learned today please anyone sir yes please yeah so we have learned about recount text and also the centers i mean the tenses that we should uh, use in the recount text which is simple past tense okay thank you so much uh chandra you are right give applause to Dwight chandra okay uh, for our student, that's all about our uh, material today. Uh, for the homework, uh, I want you to make a recount text and then upload to your Instagram as a caption. And also, don't forget to upload your picture that relate with your recount text. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you, Thank sir. You, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Agus Andy. Uh, um, yeah, the second simulator will be Satyadi Satwika. Are you ready, Satyadi? Uh, yes, miss. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Can I start this? Yeah, you can. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How are you today? I'm great. I'm great, sir. Thank I'm great. How about you? Hi. Okay, I'm good. Thank you. And. Uh, before starting the class, let's pray together. Pray start. Pray end. Uh, previously, who was absent today? No one, sir. No one, sir. No one, sir. Okay, good. If you are off here. Uh, before that, uh, uh, can I... Can I be the host? Agus Edi, can you help us to make Satya the as a host, please? Okay, thank you. <clears throat> okay, now we start the lesson. Uh, with the topic is grammar, there is and there are. Before that, uh, look at these two pictures. Is there uh, anyone uh, can help to make a sentence for the first picture? Can I, sir? Okay. Who? Me, Dewa, sir. Okay, okay, Dewa, please. So for the first picture, um, the cat is so cute. Okay, thank you, they will. Uh, anyone can try? Anyone will try? Can I see? Uh, okay, Vidya. I think there is a cat. Yeah. Okay, that's exactly right. Uh, the, uh, so there is, there is a cat and there is is used to describe a singular object, and for the next is in the second image. Who wants uh, to help to make a sentence? Can I, sir? Okay, uh, do we? There are five dots. Okay, nice, do we? So there are uh, apa? There are sent. There are is used to uh, describe a plural or multiple objects. For the example is, there is a big cake. There is a black hat. There is a monkey eating a banana. There are rose flowers. There are cows in uh, on the field. There are many fruits on the table. 
Oke. Okay. Um, do you all understand about the material? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, now um, I take one example from above. Why are these two sentences is different? Can anyone answer? Can I, sir? Agus Edi. Okay, Agus Edi, let's try. Uh, the sentence, there is a monkey eating a banana is a singular, and there are a rose flowers is a plural. Okay, it's true, Agus Edi. Thank you. So in the sentence, there is a monkey eating a banana. It shows a single, apa, singular object, namely a monkey. And uh, there are rose, there are rose flowers. Is a plural sentence, uh, which uh, they not rose flowers, which mean uh, more than one rose. Okay, can anyone uh, make one example from today's material? Yes, can I? Okay, Nita. Um, for uh, the there is or there are. Okay, uh, just um, there is. Free, uh, yeah, just one. Uh, there is an apple which falls from its tree. Okay, very good, Nita. Uh, give applause to Nita. Okay. Um, the conclusion in today's class is that we learn about grammar. There is and there are, uh, which there is used to uh, denote singular object and there are uh, used to show plural objects. Um, okay, maybe um, our time is up. Before we end the class today, let me pray together. Pray start. Pray end. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, Satyadi. Actually, you still have one minute left, but it's okay. Um, let's move to the third uh, turn. Yeah, we have Nadia Parwati. Yes, yes. Uh, Satya Adi, can you make me be the host? Okay, yes. thank you. Okay, good morning everyone, and how are you today? Good morning. Good morning, Miss. Good morning, Miss. I'm good. How about you? I'm fine. Thank you for asking me. Uh, well, before we move to our lesson today, let us pray first. And for the work, please let us pray. Okay, everyone, before we start our lesson today, let us pray first. Pray start. Pray end. Okay, thank you, Dewa. Uh, previously, I want to check your attendance. Who is absent today? No one, sir. No one, sir. No no one miss. Okay. Um, now I will. Screen. Uh, I will give you a picture. This is the dialogue. And please analyze. You can read this dialogue. Um, Lydia, can you help me to read the dialogue and the work? Yes, miss. 
Okay, go on. Uh, good afternoon, Udin. Why are you answering? Dewa, can you start from the right side? From the student. Okay, sorry, sorry. Good afternoon, sir. Okay, good afternoon, Udin. Um, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Uh, I'm fine too, sir. Thank you. Okay, give applause um, with uh, Widya and Dewa. Thank you, Widya and Dewa. And uh, do you know what we are talking about in this lesson? Is it breathing? I think you know. Yes, you are right. Uh, we will learn about greetings. Greeting is the expression which used to welcome someone or greeting someone. And greeting, um, the, they are in a formal and informal. Okay, um, this is the example of greeting expression. You can read in my screen. Uh, the greeting and the responses. Please remember the greeting and responses because I will ask you about that after we read the example of greeting and a uh, greeting expression. All right, to make you more understand about the material, uh, can anybody wants to be volunteer to read the dialogues about greetings? Can I miss? Can I yes. Miss? Uh, yes. Do we end it? Okay. Go let on. me let me start first, Nita. Okay. Hello, sister. How are you? Hi, Dwi. I'm fine. How about you? I'm fine too, but where are you going, by the way? I will go to fly kite in a field. Do you want to come play with me? Yes, of course. Why not? Okay, thank you, Dwi and Nita. Please give applause for them. Okay, um, so far, do you get it the point that I give for you about three things? Yes, miss. Yes, miss, we get it. Well, um, after that, I will choose one by one of you to mention example of great things that I give you before. This, right? Okay, start from Widya. Please mention greetings, example of greetings. Good morning. Okay, very good, Widya. And for the next is Nita. Nita, are you there? Yes, yes I'm here. What is the question before? Okay, please mention the response of greeting. The response of greeting. Yes. Uh, hi. Okay, very good, Nita. And for the next is Satyadi. Um, please mention greetings, but it cannot be the same with your friend answer um, how are you today okay very good it is a greeting expression um for the next is the word please mention the response about greeting that satya said 
I'm sorry, Miss. Uh, can you repeat? Uh, please mention the responses of example that Satya Adi said before. Sorry, Satya Adi, what, uh, uh, what you said before? Um, how are you today? Uh, okay, I'm fine. Okay, very good there. And for the next is Dimas. Uh, yes. Please mention the response about greeting. Uh, the response of, of greeting, um, I'm good, thank you, I'm fine. Yes, very good. Okay, and for the next is Rosandi. Please mention one example about greetings. Mm, how are you today? Please, uh, cannot be the same with your friend. Hello. Hello, okay, very good. For the next is uh, Dwi Chandra. Yes, miss. Um, one example is, hi, how is it okay. going? Okay, very good. And for the last one is Eddie. Please mention uh, one example, the responses about greetings. Uh, hello, hi, or uh, nice to meet you. Okay, thank you everyone. Um, well, I think that's all for today. And can anybody wants to conclude uh, what we are have learned for today? Can I, Miss? Yes, do we go on? Yeah, so we have learned about how to greet someone, some example of it, and also some response to respond the greetings. That's all. Okay, thank you. And give applause to do it. Well, I think that's all for today, but before we end the class, I give you a task. Please make short dialogue about greetings and you will submit for the next week. Um, that's all for today. Thank you for joining my class and see you next week. Thank you, Liz. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nadia. So sorry, I have to turn off my camera, yeah, due to the poor connection. Uh, well, let's move to the fourth <clears throat> simulator. Uh, hold on. Widya Sari, are you there? Yes, miss. <clears throat> okay. Nadia, can you make me as the host? Yes. Nadia, are you there? You already did the Okay, thank you. Okay, I will start. So, good morning, everyone. Good morning. morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How about I'm you? Okay. How about I'm you? Good. Thank, you. Thank you for asking. Okay, before we start our lesson today, let me first uh, let me pray for God guidance first, and I will let the pray. So pray start. Pray and uh, now I want to check your attendance first. Is there anyone who absent today? No one. No one. No one. Okay, I'm good to hear that. All right, let me uh, share my screen first.
Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Right. Can you see the picture on the screen? Yes. Yes. Okay. Have you ever read the story about Cinderella and the mouse deer and the crocodile? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Okay. Do you think the story is interesting or not? Yes, it's interesting. Yes, very interesting. Okay. Did you know uh, what material that we are going to learn today related to the story of Cinderella or maybe monster in crocodile? I think it's narrative. Narrative, maybe. Why? You are right. Who answered that? Do we? All right. Today, we are going to learn about narrative text. I will explain the definition first. Okay, so narrative text is text that focuses on specific particip uh, participation, where the story uh, consists of complications prob or problematic events, and also with resolution to solve the problem. So the purpose or the goals of narrative text is to entertain the readers and also to tell the story about something or someone from the past event. Now, we're going to discuss about the generic structure of narrative text. So there are three generic structure of narrative text. First is orientation. Second is complication. Uh, the third one is resolution. In orientation, uh, it is the beginning of the story where the character or the scene is uh, introduced. Meanwhile, in, compl uh, in complication, uh, it's called racing action, where the problem and the conflict leads to the climax. And the last one is resolution. It's called the ending of the story. So well, the problem of the conflict are solved. Okay. Five types of narrative text. Uh, first is fairy tales. Second is folk tale. The third one is the fable. And the last one is legend. You can see the example of the type of narrative text. Can you give me one more example about uh, the types of narrative text? The title, the title of the story, maybe about fairy tales, maybe about folk tale or fable or legend. Please give me one example about the story of narrative text. Mm, it's Snow White. Yes, Lita, you are great, Snow White. How about the others? That's Pinocchio. Pinocchio, yeah, you're right, Dewey. Good job. Nadia, what do you see? Harry Potter. Harry Potter, yeah, it can be, yeah. Now, we learn about the language features about narrative text. So, there are specific characters. Uh, first, using specific characters, yeah, like Aladdin, Snow White, maybe Cinderella. Second, Second, using past tenses, yeah, because narrative text uh, tell a story about past experience, of course, is used past tense. And then using direct speech, uh, basically, this is used, what is it, like quotation mark, like uh, you can see quotation mark this, why are you crying, my friend? And then uh, the third, using time conjunction, like then, when, after, before. Uh, after that, you see action verb like killed, cried, and so. The last one, you see adverb of time, like once upon a time, one day, or long time ago. Now we are going to discuss and analysis the generic 